Thanks to the rain, we already had to move one ceremony into the lower level of the manor. But now Francesca is also moving her ceremony inside. Francesca just calls. She wants to go with the chapel. Well, the chapel is on Skyland's grounds. It's a half a mile away from the manor. And to make matters worse, it only holds 100 people. That's only half of Francesca's guests. That means we have to keep the other half of the guests from going to the ceremony. She did fax over the list. We're going to have to have people outside in the rain by the Eagles, like a VIP list, just checking this list. OK. I'll help with the reset, I'll, and I'll work with the florist with the chapel. But you have too much to do here. OK. This is going to be tough. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, it's not going to be easy. You got your magic ready to happen? She wants this really beautiful. The problem is the archway. You know what I mean? It's blocking the bride and groom. It's blocking 80% of the view. Her floral arrangement for the ceremony was designed to be outside. So we took the archway. We kind of took it and broke it up in thirds. And we kind of scattered the flowers throughout. Yeah. It looks like that arch is made for here. We did the best we could with the limited items that we had. And I hope she's happy. After all our rearranging, the chapel is ready. The guests are arriving. This is it, yes, sir. Stefan is here with his groomsmen, and Francesca will be here any minute. I need, I need the girls. Just, yeah, just look right down. OK. There's umbrellas right there if you want. And when I first see Francesca, I'm just going to be really excited and happy to see her. I'm sure that she'll look absolutely beautiful. And I now pronounce you husband and wife. I think it really worked out. It was more intimate. It was a little smaller. It brought more people together.